Tires. Tires are the best upgrade there are. Tires. 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 They really are the ultimate upgrade to boost performance for your RC car. And today is a special day for tires, because after years of having the goal, A-Main Hobbies finally has their own tires under a brand new brand called Upgrade RC, which is meant to be a performance accessory brand for bashers with a lot of different offerings to come in the future. But first on that list are these 2.8 basher tires designed for 10 scale bashers like Traxxas, Arma, and a lot more. There's four different tires to choose from, and they're all designed to be used in different terrain types. We have here the Street Radio On-Road Tire, the Dirt Claw All-Terrain Tire, the Saw Blade Off-Road Tire, and the Snow Plow Paddle Tire for sand and snow. Now, some of you might say these are just tires, but there are some really cool things about these tires that make them the best 2.8 tires you can buy in Bash, in my opinion, and here's why. First, all the tires are made from a soft rubber compound with the rubber sourced in the USA. So if you want grip, you got it. The tires also come pre-mounted and glued onto the wheel. And that glue is also sourced in the USA. From our testing, we were able to get the tires to balloon up, but never once did we get the tire to pull off of the wheel. It doesn't mean it's impossible. It means the glue bead is really well done on these tires. Second is the vent hole. We've stressed in the past the importance of covering up your vent holes if you're gonna drive in sand, snow, mud, or any wet conditions to preserve the foam insert inside. But that's only necessary when the vent hole is located on the inside of the wheel. On the Upgrade RC tires, all the vent holes are poked on the side wall of the tire, so you should never have to worry about it or ever do anything to them. Any tire that uses a vent hole inside the wheel instead of the tire is garbage. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they're not garbage. They just require a little bit more work when you use them in some conditions. Third, has to do with the ultra compatibility of the wheel that's included, which natively has a molded in 17 millimeter hex inside. But there's also adapters included that you can attach for a 14 millimeter fitment. And then there's two 12 millimeter hex adapters also. One is wide and one's narrow. So with the different offsets and then those different hex sizes, these wheels will fit onto a lot of different cars. Fourth, all the tires are non-belted, meaning they're gonna balloon a bit when you use them, especially with high-powered systems, but they're gonna have a more natural feel when you use them, mainly off-road. Using belted tires off-road can feel really edgy, maybe even a bit unstable because a belted tire is so stiff it just doesn't conform and remain flexible on the surface like a regular non-belted rubber tire. Another advantage to having the tires non-belted is just that when you're really laying into it and giving it the beans and the tires expand a little bit, you're gonna get more top speed out of your vehicle as that tire diameter grows. And the last advantage to having non-belted tires is just their weight. Belted tires are usually heavier, not by a lot, but generally belted tires are gonna be heavier than non-belted tires. Now here's a little comparison with a belted tire and a similar hex adapter system. And we've removed all the hexes and hardware. It's just tire for tire. The belted tire is about 10 grams heavier than the upgrade RC tire, which doesn't sound like a lot, but you multiply that by four times for four tires and it's about one and a half ounces. That's a good chunk of weight to remove from the rotating mass of your vehicle. And it's also makes it a little less stressful on your electronics. Now the fifth and final reason these are the best 2.8 tires ever is simply because they're backed by A-Main Hobbies. Upgrade RC is an A-Main Hobbies brand, just like ProTech RC and EcoPower. We stand behind this stuff. So if you ever have issues with the tires or you need help or you have questions, you can just call our customer support team. And if you don't know our number, we printed it right on the tire bag. Hopefully that's a compelling argument. We've used all these tires and I can personally tell you they're fantastic. So let me tell you a little bit more about each tire. Now the street radial is gonna be your purebred street tire and it lacks any knobbies, which also makes it the shortest tire of the bunch. It has a directional tread pattern and that's indicated on the sidewall on both sides of the tire. The tread pattern is designed knowing most road surfaces are usually kind of dirty. So they'll take in some debris while still hooking up pretty good. The tread also has these little grooves that, go all, that don't go all the way down. So they're almost like little wear bars, if you will. So you can visually see the amount of wear on the tire. Lastly, the tire profile is rounded over, so it'll run smooth 
and reduce any edginess during hard cornering. So hopefully instead of traction rolling over, the car will just slide. Now of course, the more rough the road surface, the more traction the tires will have. And in dirt, these tires are probably not gonna work that well. Now for a pure off-road experience, the saw blade is where it's at. And these things are dynamite. They're super aggressive, they have a directional tread pattern, and they almost have like a scoop in its own right. The knobbies are tall, and there's just a lot of meat on these tires. And visually, they just look awesome. Slightly moto-inspired, slightly paddle-inspired, they just fling huge roost. And even in loose conditions, they'll hook up good enough to pop wheelies no problem. The saw blades also have the tread direction marked on the sidewall both sides, and this is going to be one of the taller tires of the bunch, but it's also the most narrow. So the idea here with a thinner tire is that the thinner profile is gonna allow the tire to sink into the soft surface, the soft soil or whatever. You want it to sink in, which gives the vehicle a feel of it being planted in the terrain. Now next is the all-terrain dirt claw, and this is the tire that can do a little bit of everything. This tire size falls between the street radials and the saw blades, but with a wider tread profile, then it's more squared off. These tires are also directional and indicated, and the knobbies, again, are tall and chunky on this tire. There's a lot of meat here, and these lugs are super cool with this alternating design in these pockets in the main center lugs to kind of hold debris while you're going over it while still allowing the tire to make contact with the surface. Many of the lugs on this tire are also steps, so you've got this first and second layer to kind of give you another wear mark, if you will. And overall, the tires just look really cool and aggressive. Even the sidewalls add to this, and you've got these little ramp details on both sides going all the way around the tire. If you could only have one set of tires to do everything, these would be it. Road, dirt, gravel, grass, whatever else, the dirt claw's gonna handle it. Now last but not least is the snowplow paddle tire. And this uses a realistic snowplow design where instead of scooping and collecting debris like a typical paddle tire, these V-shaped paddles instead move the debris off to the left and right side for ejection. So the tire is never really holding on to the debris, it's just paddling through it. And you'll notice the paddle design is tall and then it curves forward slightly to be more effective. I may have said it, but these paddles are directional and they're marked on the sidewall both sides which way they're supposed to go. And then you'll notice there's extra details in the tire in between the paddles for extra looks, detail, and a little bit more grip. So that's the new lineup from Upgrade RC, arguably the best 2.8 tires that you could possibly buy. And I know they're just tires, but we think you'll like them, we love them, so go check out Upgrade RC Tires down below. Follow the links, click, go check them out, or visit your local hobby shop.